For this project, you're going to need some yarn, preferably 100% cotton. I'm using scrap yarn, some measuring tape, buttons. I recommend that the smallest size you go is 20 millimeters or 2 centimeters. This would be the smallest size that I recommend going, no smaller. You can obviously go bigger if you want. Just don't do any size smaller than 20 millimeters slash 2 centimeters. You'll need some scissors, some thread, a threading needle, and a crochet hook. So first you want to start off by creating a slip knot so you wrap the yarn around two fingers. You grab your crochet hook and go through the hole you just created and then grab the yarn and pull through the hole and tighten it. Then you want to chain two so you yarn over the hook and pull through the hole. Yarn over again and pull through. So you just created two chains, one, two. Then you want to start creating foundation half double crochets. So you yarn over and you go into the very first chain that you created. Then you yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through. You will then have three loops. Yarn over one more time. And you want to go into the first loop only. Again, you will have three loops on your hook. You yarn over and go through all three. This counts as one stitch. So again, you yarn over. This will count as a chain down here. So you go through this chain at the bottom. You yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook again. Yarn over and pull through the first loop only. You'll have three loops again. And then you yarn over and go through all three loops. And that is your second stitch. Again, yarn over, go through the bottom, which counts as a chain. Yarn over the hook and pull through. You'll have three loops. So you yarn over, go through the first loop only. You'll have three loops again. Yarn over, go through all three. And that is your third stitch. So yarn over, go through the bottom down here. When you go through the bottom, you want to make sure that you're going through both of these little loops. So yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook again. Yarn over, go through the first loop only. And then yarn over, go through all three loops. You continue the same steps until the whole row reaches 6 inches. So yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through the first loop, yarn over, go through all three loops. And just continue the same process. I crocheted this to 6 inches and now that it's 6 inches going to start on the second row so yarn over and chain 1 and turn your work and then for this row it's just going to be regular half double crochet so yarn over go into the first stitch closest to the chain and you yarn over again and pull through the stitch You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three. Again, yarn over, go through the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops. 
yarn over and go through all three loops yarn over go through the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over go through all three loops and you just continue with half double crochets for the entire row When you get to the end of the row, you want to yarn over and chain one. And then for this row, again, you're going to do half double crochets for the entire row into each and every single stitch. So again, you just yarn over, go through the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops, yarn over, go through all three. And then for the next stitch, you yarn over, go through it, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops, yarn over, and go through all three. And you do the same for each and every stitch. The size of your yarn depends on how many rows you have to do. So you want to create the length to be about an inch and a half and so with the size of my yarn I only need three rows you may need less or you may need more so to finish off this row now that I'm at one and a half inches I'm just going to cut the yarn and yarn over and pull through all the way and tighten it then I'm going to grab my threading needle and weave in the ends. So to weave in the ends, you just go through the half double crochets. Then you want to weave through the same way that you just came but you don't want to go through the exact same stitch that you came out of so you can either go through the one behind it or in front i'm gonna go since i exited this way i'm gonna go into here and then go through all the half double crochets and just pull If there's some sticking out, you can just go ahead and cut it. You're going to do the same to this end as well. Now you want to add the buttons. So these buttons are 35 millimeters. Again, I do not suggest going any lower than 20 millimeters for this. So you're going to grab your thread and cut a piece off. So mine's not too long but also not too short. Then you want to thread your needle. And then you're going to start sewing one of the buttons in place towards the edge. Leave some room over here like that. You're just going to keep sewing into the two holes or four holes depends on which which button you're using so just sew when you're done sewing the button in the back you just want to tie the two ends of this thread together and then you want to weave it in
then sew the next button on So this is the finished product. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to make the width 6 inches and then the length between 1 and 1.5 and inches. And then all you need is two buttons on the end. It's very simple. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching it. Stay safe.